Uh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Oddworld Soulstorm on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we once again had to travel through Sorrow Valley. And so far in this level, in terms of rescuing Wilduckens, we have been doing pretty well so far. We have rescued 17 out of 31 so far, but unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that somewhere at the start of this level, we have more than likely missed a secret area that was probably containing two Mudakans and most likely the Silver Square, aka the key that you use to open up many of the lockers in this area. So we've rescued 17 Mudakans so far. We're still on track to get 80% good karma. So it's not looking completely bleak, but we have unfortunately left two Mudakans behind. So feeling a little bit guilty at the moment and also the fact that I can't find the key to open up the lockers is really irritating me at the moment but let's get straight into things. Now um, we should more than likely reach the fat station today finally and then we can get ourselves a train, head to the old trellis, meet up with Alf and the rest of the Muduckens from Rupture Farms and then we can carry on with this uh, story but for now I think what we're going to do is we are going to possess one of these slicks and we're just going to massacre everybody. Oh actually one thing you do need to do, yeah, one thing you do need to do on this bit, um, when you possess one of these sleeks, you wanna come down here, and don't come down too low though, because I think there is a bunch of those, um, uh, those possession suppressors, yeah, these things here. Don't come down too low, otherwise you're gonna end up getting zapped and killed. But there is like a glowing blue thing down there, sort of like there, I think it is, and you wanna break it. What a shot! <laughs> but yeah, you want to break that so you can actually go down and be able to collect that royal jelly. If you don't shoot that with one of these flying uh, slicks, you won't be able to get that royal jelly. But uh, what I normally do off camera to try and do this bit without killing any slicks, to try and make pro progress towards the complete the game without killing a hundred slicks, uh, I normally take the slicks very high up and then I depossess them and then I possess the rest and I move them all up and I try and do it as quick as possible and then try and go along on the uh, on the conveyor belt but it's very difficult to do and most of the time they just come back down and shoot you anyway so as we're playing this on YouTube and I don't want to die 65 times I'm just going to kill everyone <laughs> Shit, mate. <laughs> oh shit. I don't really like using the ones with the uh, rocket launchers. I want one with a shotgun. They're the best flipping ones in my opinion. Is this guy rocking a Gatling gun? It flipping is. Jesus. Who equipped the slicks with a bloody Gatling gun? What kind of mad lad Oddworld inhabitants decided that we should give the slicks Gatling guns? I mean, these fuckers don't even know how to aim a normal, just everyday machine gun. And that's dangerous enough as it is. What psychopath decided to give these guys a flipping, uh, a flipping Gatling gun? Oh, sweet, maybe you should do that as well. You can most likely burn down that wood. If you've got any, uh, brew then you can just burn down that wood. But um, if you don't have any brew, then you won't be able to do it. In fact, let me have a look what I've got. Yeah, you would be able to. Use a brew bottle and use a, um, a flare. And if, if you throw the flare at the brew bottle, that will, um... oh no. Oh no. I forgot Mullet was here. <laughs> but yeah, if you throw a flare at uh, uh, Soulstorm Brew, it, it flares up into a fire. So you can use that to burn down wood. Is he going to start shooting at me now? If you can hear my dog howling, uh, I do apologise. She's staring out the window and howling like an idiot. <laughs> Just staring out the window howling. Most likely looking at a, uh, a dog or something. But yeah, we're going to come down here first and we're going to grab up this... Ooh, grab up this royal jelly. Do I want to come this way? Yes. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> Mullet, give it a rest! I feel like you might want to make sure you run. Don't roll. Like once you get through this bit, then just 
jump up and then hold R1. I feel like rolling is slightly too slow. I suppose uh, Mullock can um, easily break the wood for you. Alright, I don't think he can get me over here. Right, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna do something so I can try and sync this video up, just in case I'm having problems with syncing again. So, duh, 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 duh. okay, that should help me sync things up if I have problems. <laughs> I might do that regularly in this playthrough because I'm having a lot of trouble with this game for some reason in terms of recording. Just something about the gameplay just keeps on stuttering and it's making everything just desync. So it's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, this is the bit I remember. Yeah, so soon I think we're going to encounter a bunch of snipers and you can't get past them no matter what you do. So you have to uh, take over a flying slig and you need to use him to deal with them. But you have to go through this like little maze of death before you do it. <laughs> a classic refresher. Be wise, know your tasks. Know your ta Know your basics. Tough path lies ahead. Learn how... Learn... Now, here, and now. Only fools dive in. Okay, I probably read that like a newborn baby. Is this the bit? Yeah, so if you try... Wait, I mean, they're not snipers. Oh, shit. But if you try to uh, get past this bit... Uh, I mean, you can't anyway because of the... Um, because of the barriers, but you'll just get shot to shit. So what you need to do is you need to come over this way. Oh, also, there's another secret area in this place that I'll show you. It's very, very easy to miss this, but you need to uh, come around here and you need to uh, possess a flying slig. Take him through just a maze of absolute agony and then just take out all of the slicks. I think you have to kill them because I don't think there's any way of stu stunning them. I suppose you can probably open up the gate I suppose you could probably open up the gate and then maybe take Abe through, but I don't think Abe has got anything that can... No, because Abe would have to actually kill them, because I don't have enough tape to, like, suppress them all. So, yeah, you have to do it this way. You've got to kill them, I think. But, yeah, we need to go through this way, and we can't. Well, we just need to get rid of these slicks, but we need to go through this way to get to the secret area. So what we're going to do is we're going to possess this bad boy. Now, one thing you might be confused about is he's only got a flamethrower. That's wrong. If you press um, R2, was it R2? What? R1? R1. There you go. You get a tranquilizer dart that sends people to sleep. So I suppose you could maybe use that to deal with the uh, to deal with the um, slicks, I guess. But they don't stay they don't stay asleep for very long. So who knows? But yeah, sometimes when you take control of the slick, he's already only got the tranquilizer dart. So if you press R1, you can switch to a flamethrower, just in case you don't know how to get past these trains, because it doesn't tell you. If they stayed asleep permanently, it'd be okay. <laughs> but they don't. But yeah, you've got to be very careful with these flying slicks, because their propellers, if they touch the wall, like the ceiling and that, they blow up. <laughs> should have gone then. Oh no, after this we should be out of time. Right, this bit up here I think is an annoying bit. You've got to be patient on this bit, I think. I think when all three are sort of like, yeah, you want to go when like all three separate at the same time. Maybe the next one. Yeah, maybe at this one is when we go. Oh! doing then. He, he was refusing to shoot then. <laughs> I don't see the point in that because yeah you turn them all off but if you die well I suppose 
Oh, and I suppose if your sleep dies, it makes it easier for you to come back. I guess that's why. Get back to sleep, you kid. I love that. I mean, or whether you like this game or not, that's irrelevant. But you've got to agree that the flipping characters in this game and the enemies and just the whole story of Oddworld is fucking phenomenal, ain't it? Like, whether you like the gameplay or whether you find it fun to play, you know, no, that's all, that's opinions. But you've got to at least agree that the flipping, just the, the creativity in this game is phenomenal, ain't it? Absolutely phenomenal. Right, so I think we can burn this motherfucker down now. Yeah, if you burn this bit over here... Oops. If you burn this bit over here, you actually find yourself a secret area. But you need to burn it down with one of the slicks. Or you could probably bring some of your brew with you. But yeah, in there, that's where the... Uh, I think there's like a little doorway. Yeah, that right there, there's a doorway there. And I think there's Mudakans in there. I don't know why I'm bothering to try and keep anyone alive at this point. I mean, I've murdered so many flipping slicks at this point. Yeah, we need to pull that lever though to open up the door. include a trophy to not kill them. I, I want to kill them, they're scum. <laughs> they deserve it. God, bloody hell, mate, that's flipping bright, isn't it? Hey, look, some lockers we can actually open for a change. Six flares. Right, I don't know if this is the one yet, but I know one of these, um, one of the, it might be this one, but one of these secret areas um, had... Just one one Mudakan that was hidden very well. Because if you played if you played the old Odd World um, games like Odyssey and Exodus, so many of the Mudakans would be hidden in the shadows where you'd like just just go past some shadows. And if you didn't have the uh, TV very loud, you wouldn't hear them. Because if you had the TV loud, you could normally hear them scrubbing the floor. But then you'd just walk past a shadow and you'd maybe just slightly notice on the floor in the shadows that you see like a little hand moving like that, scrubbing the floor, doing some DJing or something. And you go, hello, and then randomly this Mudokan would go, hello. Because <laughs> they're just very well hidden. And it's the same in this bit right here. There's some very well hidden ones. And it's annoying because you don't want to get the flare out because I think that wakes the slogs up. So you don't really want to use the flares. And I like to save the flares for other things. I'm here to break you free. Let's go. It's okay. I'm here to break you free. Oh, wow. I oh. feel much better. Oh, this one, this is, oh, this is coming up as one of the first few Mudokans. See, this is why it's very confusing. The little tally at the side makes you think you've missed some when you might not have missed any. Oh, yeah, this is the place. Yeah, this is the place. There's, I think, five Mudokans you need to rescue. And you can't save them because there's a bunch of slogs down there. So what you need to do is you need to get the slogs to chase you. And you need to run all the way to the other side. But you've got to jump up on a ledge very quickly. Like you had to do in the original game regularly. But it's very easy to not jump on time and then get immediately eaten. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah, I'll show you. What I normally do is I mark the floor with a flare. But I'll show you where the hidden, um, where the one hidden Mudakan is. I mean, they're all they're all technically hidden. This is a secret area, but there's one that's just it's in like a little area where you might not necessarily look. You t you two just wait there a minute. You you might as well stay there. This one, <laughs> this is the one that's so easy to bloody miss, and you, it doesn't exactly tell you how many are in the area, so it's very easy to miss some. Come on. And I think there's one down the other side, right at the end. And this is the one you need to uh, rescue. Oh. There's a lot of... Um, 
There's a lot of uh, lockers in this place. Oh, we're getting batteries as well. We'll be able to make a lot of those uh, stun mines. But yeah, you need to run all the way down here. And then when you get to here, you've got to jump up on this ledge here above me. So you want to probably put a flare or something there to just mark the area so you can remember. So then you know when to jump. Because if you don't jump, then you're going to get eaten. But you want to leave the slogs down here so that they're away from the birds. And then you can... Uh, and then you can um, save all the mudakans. But yeah, I think there's five in here. You save me. Okay, it's still showing that one mudakan is missing right at the start of the chart. So I don't know if that's like one that's been left at the beginning of the game. Who knows? It's very confusing the chart in this game. Oh no, there's more. Maybe this is the guy. Maybe there's six in here then. Thank you, thank you. Oh no, still missing one right at the start. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get all these gits over here, and then we're going to leave them there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go back and we're going to leave a flare on the floor because even when the flare runs out of uh, durability and um, like runs out of fuel, it still has like a little glow to it, so you can still use it. Hey. I could go for a sandwich right now. Well, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> I could go for a sandwich right now. Well, we ain't gonna, we ain't got no time for getting sandwiches, boys. We can go to Greg's once we've rescued you all. But for now, you're gonna have to just bear with me. Okay, right. So we're gonna stick a flare here. Just make sure they all chase you. Free loss. I'm terrified, I'm terrified. Oh, we did it in one! <laughs> you don't know how many times I was doing this off camera and just dying. Did they all follow me? Oh, shit. They didn't follow me all the way, then that was just pointless. What the? They didn't follow me at all. Right, I need to go and mark it with a flare again. <laughs> I think maybe I just jumped up a bit too quickly. But you see, look, there's still like little sparky bits on the floor. One. I see, I see one. <laughs> oh no, we can't just have one following us. That's terrible. It does sound very noisy down there. We've got to have we've got to have been followed by more than just one. I see one. Oops. What'd you drop it for, Abe? Don't tell me to walk. You see him doing that? <laughs> yeah, just walk into some slugs, mate. We need to see three lots of Z's, I think. Right, there's one there. Oh man, I hope the other ones have followed. If they haven't followed, I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to have to end... Oh, I don't want to have to restart this bloody area. Oh, I see some Zs there. I don't think they all followed. What is their problem? One over there still isn't moving. There we go. Right, 
maybe maybe there is okay. It's gonna be really risky. Shit. He always does that, he drops it at the last second. Actually, yeah, I've got a fucking idea. This will teach a little gits. Oh, I feel like a wanker now. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. All you had to do was follow me to the other side and you would have been perfectly fine. But you little gits wouldn't get, wouldn't get the hint, so I had to butcher you. I'm sorry, you know? It's not something a vegetarian would normally do. Oh, mate, did you hear him whimper? What a fucker I am. Man, what a bastard, I'm sorry. Follow me to freedom, oh, the way. So, I've been thinking. When we get out of here, we should start a band. Got a nice little bonfire over there now. There we go. Lovely jubbly. So what are we on now? 74%. Okay. Right. Now we can go back, and I think there was already three more that we can rescue, weren't there? Be careful, because there will be a flying guy over here again. They keep on appearing. You see how it stutters when you go past the safe spot? That's what, that's what causes problems. You see it? The stutter. I think that's what causes problems. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that should help me sink. <laughs> Just in case there's issues. One, two, three. Have I got any sellotape? Oh shit, it's a slap bar. I love their voices. Thank you. You're not alone. Oh. I love how they chuck off their hats as well. Alright, come on, boys. Right, so I guess the last few are down here then. Maybe. Oh, yeah. How is this a secret area? It's not even hidden. But we can find. Oh no, there's got. There should be four more somewhere. Oh no, this counts as the first guy. Oh sweet. So we might not have missed any. Then that means I don't know where the hell that bloody key was. <laughs> How do I get? Hmm. Right, be careful, buddy. Don't fall on your ass. How does that count as a secret area? When you think about Abe's Exodus and that, some of those hidden areas were ridiculous. Alright, well, there's got to be four more somewhere. So pretty much it just lets you come up here so you can probably see one of the Mudakans and then like cry because you don't know how to rescue him if you've somehow managed to not rescue him. <laughs> That's just teasing that is. 
Ah, oh, look, the fat station ahead. We're nearly there now. Hopefully we can find four more Mudukans before we get there, though. Yeah, because once you go up there, you're done. That's what leads to the fat station. So uh, unless... Unless there's some this way, um, I don't want to... Well, um, there must be some this way then. If there isn't, then I don't know where they are. I see a jelly. Okay, well that's all fine and dandy, but I don't really want a jelly. Yeah, we can't we can't go this way because that's the end of the level. Let me have a quick look up here again then. Have we I mean we've rescued eighty seven percent, so even if we do finish the level, we've still got good karma, but Yeah, that ain't that ain't right. I don't think we've I don't know, because the the thing at the bottom of the screen behind my head, it doesn't really give you any indication if you've like missed them at the beginning or at the end. It, it seems to be a bit random. Some of the levels it makes sense, but other levels it don't. Oh, there's a jelly over there I missed. There could be another secret area somewhere. Maybe down here then? I'll have a quick look. We've only got a couple of minutes of this video left anyway, so I might as well have a quick look. And then we can start the fat station off fresh in the next video. The fat station will be okay though, because I know for a fact that I know where they all are. I found all of those off camera. Hmm. I'm not sure where they are. They can't be back any further. I mean, they, they might be like really far back somewhere. Oh well. Well, we, we've still got good karma, so it's not all bad, but I, I like to rescue all of the Mudukans. It's like finishing a level in Crash Bandicoot and you've missed a bunch of um, crates. It's, it's disappointing, ain't it? <laughs> it, just, it just ruins it. It's like you, you can't be happy that you finished a level. Even if it was a really hard level and you should be just happy that you finished the bloody level, you can't be happy if you've left a few uh, crates behind. It's the same in this game. You've left a few Mudukans behind, it's kind of depressing. <laughs> oh well. Maybe they are just near the end of the level and I've just come back for no reason. I don't think they are though. I think they just straight up leads into a uh, end screen. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way it's going to be over there. I don't know, I don't know where we've missed them. Oh, oh well. Well, we've got apes, 87%, so it's not all bad. Oh, where the hell did they come from? And why are they not even shooting at me? <laughs> if this was not a cutscene right now, I'd be being shot to shit. Navigated through Sorrow Valley. There was a lot of sorrow in that valley, wasn't there? It didn't take me an hour and seven minutes, that's a lie, it's because I was pausing it whilst I was setting stuff up, that's why. Now we've got all gold and platinum, that's good. And we, uh, we got a uh, good karma as well, so that's good. Look how many slicks we killed, god damn. <laughs> okay, right, we'll continue to the next level, but we're going to have to start this off properly next time. We can give it a few, few goes though. I think now is when we're going to start using our inventory a lot more, though. In 
infiltrate the train station. Finally, a train to hijack. The only thing that stands in the way is a highly fortified facility full of sligs that are desperate to kill something today. <laughs> Hint, sometimes it's best to sneak instead of trying to take them all head on. Take them on head on. Yeah, I wasn't going to try and take them on head on. I mean, this is an Oddworld game. Why would you do that? Right. Oh, got different save points now. Looking a bit more mysterious. Oh, look at this cheeky stuff. Look at this. <laughs> that is cheeky, that is. That is flipping some sack boy a big adventure right there, that is. Every single time you start one of the levels in that game, you've got to walk back towards the camera just to see if there's like a, a hidden um, dream orb. Dreamer orb. <laughs> okay, right. Well, thanks for watching, Warful Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Fingers crossed that this video is um, not completely desynced from my commentary. So cross your fingers for me. And yeah, next time we're going to head to the fat station. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share and join the pack today.